Interactive whiteboards. Students are actively engaged with content when they are utilizing technology tools like the interactive whiteboards in carefully structured lessons that are aligned to standards. These lessons can be captured using the interactive whiteboard software to create a screencast. These lessons can be published online for students that would like to review at home, reinforce the skills presented, and deeply engage the students in higher order thinking skills. This is an example of one brand of interactive whiteboards. I'll cover the different brands. It doesn't matter. They're all in one category that basically the computer hooks to the board and then the teacher or students can go ahead and touch the board, almost turning your computer into a touch screen. And it's big, it's visual, and you can do so many great things with it. So don't get stuck on the brand name. It is an interactive whiteboard. And you have to have a projector. You have to be able to connect to the computer. And um, then you can go ahead and design lessons for engagement. That's what the whole thing's about. The board itself is not going to transform the classroom. It's what you, the great, talented, wonderful teacher that you are, is what you do with it by redesigning and rethinking how you can present lessons. Now, wouldn't it be nice if all our classrooms looked this beautiful? There's all different types of things. Like in this case, you can see there's speakers that are on the side. They're great. You can just turn up the volume right there and, it, and it's a wonderful setup. But there's as many setups as there are types of classrooms. So there's not one size that fits all. Also, when you look at this, I'm looking at that, I'm not very tall, and I'm thinking that might be a little too high for me. They're actually, they make the boards now that are adjustable. So you could bring it right down to the kindergarten kids and bring it right back up for the high school kids. So that there's lots of configurations. There's no just one way. Uh, there's different features too. This happens to be an eraser that you can pick up and erase the board. And you also notice that there's two buttons there. You can display a keyboard, and the, the other one is the right click. And uh, by pressing the two, usually you can calibrate the board. You can see that there's all different ways. You see the teacher up at the board. You see the students at their desks. That's one model, but I love when I see students up there. Okay, so the teacher has planned the lesson before class, and then it's queued up, ready for the students when they come in. Again, wouldn't we love to have this set up? Take a look at that. Two interactive boards in the room. That would be ideal. I think this is a corporate training room, but I love the picture. And um, it would be great if we had multiple things. But the reason I selected this picture is because I want you to think about it. You can almost think about your interactive whiteboard almost as a center. So if you're in the classroom and you're working with a small group of students, maybe doing a science lab or an experiment, another group could be creating, building, making on the interactive whiteboard. So it doesn't always have to be the teacher at the interactive whiteboard. That's something that you hear me say over and over and over because we need students moving around. Now, the configuration, don't get all stuck on that, of um, how it's all connected. I hope yours is all done and you just walk right in and go ahead and get started using it. But there's a balance, everybody. There's my visual to remind us. You don't want to overuse it. You actually want to blend all different types of presentation strategies in there. There's my visual of the balance. This is one way we can use it where with the student up there and that little finger in her hand is I unfortunately have to use it all the time because a lot of times things are up too high for me. Now, this one you can see looks a little washed out, probably have the lights on. There's different um, brightnesses, brightness projectors that have different brightness. And this one, um, maybe it's the glare from the camera, but um, sometimes lights have to be on and off. It just really it depends. But we want students up there. Now the board, some boards have more than one point um, that you can touch and uh, click. Some have are limited to one, so it really, it really depends. Now, you hear a theme through every lesson I do. I'm not about starting from scratch. I'm always about, let's see if somebody else has already created something that I could then take and customize. And this is the Smart Exchange. This, If you have the Smart Board software, you would go to the Smart 
exchange and search for your lesson. It might not be exactly perfect what you want, but you can always tweak it after you download it. So these great teachers have come before, before us and uploaded everything. Yay! Now, there's the top. I always start the top downloads because I really look at these. I know how to do all of this layering and everything else, but I can really look at one of those and go, wow, that took that person a lot of hours. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing it with us. Now, Polyvision is another manufacturer of interactive whiteboards with other things, and you see right in the bottom, student response systems. All the interactive uh, whiteboard vendors have different add-on things, like document cameras, uh, slates, um, clickers, and each, depending on which, what your district has, what brand, you might have a different software or place to access lessons. So if you have Promethean board in your classroom, you have Promethean Planet in it like the Smart Exchange. There's so much here for you. It's incredible. So don't start from scratch. You want to go ahead and see if somebody has developed some things. And then if you find somebody that has developed some things, look around closely. See if what else they've developed. You know, it, across um, the world, we really do teach about the same thing. So let's not reinvent the wheel. And if you make something awesome, make sure you upload it for everybody else. Here are some top downloads. And um, these examples kind of look primary, but they, they go all the way up to higher end. Mimeo's done some great things. Mimeo's been around a long time, but they've really done some great things to update their website. Their product is fantastic. And again, they have add-ons like the document cameras and so on and so forth. But I've been um, pleasantly surprised with what I'm seeing there. And again, some featured content and search before you start creating. E-instruction is another one. And if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, see how that is a mobile interactive whiteboard? You think that would be a fantastic idea because you can move it from place to place. Well, the problem is every time you kick that, you have to recalibrate it. So, so that can be a little bit of a challenge with the, with the mobile. It, it, it's, it, I, if, if you ever can, mount it on the wall. That's the greatest thing. But here again, you can see the different um, wireless slates. These are called kind of as a generic term. The only problem with the wireless slate is when you look down, you know, we're used to looking down and writing. You don't look down, you have to look up, actually up on the screen. So it's kind of an eye-hand coordination thing that you have to get a little bit used to. And again, communities, they all have communities of practice. So if you just get one of these lovely devices, you can go into these communities and get lots of teacher-tested ideas. All right. Now, the board itself doesn't have um, brains. That's what I like to say. It does. You know, it's a great piece of equipment, but the, the real power of it is the software that ships with the board. And this is just one example of um, uh, the piece of software. And in this case, the, the way you navigate most things is over to the left. And we're going to be kind of going through those. This is a picture that I just uploaded. And all I did was it's like attaching something in email. So let's say you took digital pictures while your students were doing a science lab. You could go ahead and attach those and bring those in to maybe talk about safety or something like that. And so um, you can always add to what they've already given you. Now, all of the providers, the interactive whiteboard providers, have great software, and lot, lots of them are populated with templates. Let's call them templates that you can go ahead and put your content in and make things like checkers and chess and all those kind of things. There's so much there. Spinners, dials, dice. You name it, 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 it's available to you. There's tutorials, there's help, there's videos. Everything is built right into the software. Now, the great part about the software is you can be working on lesson development without being on the board. I love, of course, if I can use the board to, to kind of move things around, I like that. But you can always do it at home and develop within the software, and then when you come into class, you can go ahead and use the board. Um, now we're looking in the gallery. So you can see that's the little picture frame on the side. And this gallery is pre-populated with all different things from interactive media to maps. You name it, it's here. But again, you learn that you can also upload your own, which is a really nice, nice feature. 
the, you move things around similar to the lesson that you did in planning in um, presentation software, you can go ahead and move the pages around so you can always reorganize everything. You're not stuck with the way it is. This is an incredible tool in the classroom when used appropriately. And what that means is a balance between the teacher up at the board and the student up at the board. And also, if you don't want to abuse this, that meaning, you, oh good, I'll scan the worksheet and we'll just do the worksheet on the smart board. Yikes! The whole concept of the smart board is the interactivity, the ability to move things around and to capture it for any student that might need to review it later. I love interactive whiteboards, but I love when they're used correctly. It's not about the board, everybody. It's all about you. You, 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 rethinking and restructuring lessons that are higher order thinking skills. Thanks.